I have felt honored since day one to be in this program because some of the smartest people I've ever met. Uh, many of them have multiple master's degrees. Many of them have gone to other countries and helped out in other countries. And um, every day for the first few days of class, I remember being when it was kind of bonding time and getting to know each other, I was totally blown away. I'm in the secondary dual educators program. I'm a first year special education teacher. I'm in the GTEP program. I'm in the educational leadership and policy program with a specialization in post-adult secondary and continuing education. I am in the counselor education program, family and couples track. I'm in a master's uh, program uh, in curriculum instruction. I'm part of the leadership for sustainability education program. I'm in the master's program in counseling. My program was educational leadership, the doctoral program, focusing on uh, uh, post-secondary education. And I'm in the administrator licensure master's program. I went into special education because I love working with students with significant disabilities and it's it's interesting. They um, they know so much and they can do so much. And uh, as their teacher, I find it rewarding to find a new challenge and unleash their their potential and their abilities and be able to show that talent to other people. I went into the counseling program. Um, I originally was a teacher, and I really wanted to work with families. I found a lot of the kids I was working with were coming from homes with a lot of abuse or um, emotional, physical um, problems and I wasn't able to get to them. I knew I needed to work with the family or um, the, the whole system and I wasn't able to have access to that as a teacher so I wanted to work with them in a different capacity. I was drawn to the student services field uh, just mainly because of my experience as an undergraduate coming in as a freshman to a new place, new college, not knowing a lot of people. Student services really gave me that kind of home and gave me the, the opportunities to be involved. So I was drawn to that, to be able to recreate that for upcoming students and new generations of students. Well, when I was interviewing for my job, I was writing my thank you letter after the interview, and I knew that I still had my PACE uh, um, comprehensive project ahead of me. That was the last thing I had left. And so I suggested to the um, people who were interviewing that I could do my um, comps project on accessibility in online education. And they really liked that idea. And um, so I'm currently working on that now, and it's just a very exciting field, and it's really fun to be able to apply all that I've learned in the program to my real job, and I'd really like to become a specialist in this area. One of the most, I think, exciting experiences for me was part of my work sample in the winter. I was able to help um, organize and help our students prepare for We the People Congressional Hearings. Uh, and it was a big seven-week project, and we had tons of work put into it. We had to put um, together judges to come judge all of our students from the community and high school students and whatnot. And through the seven weeks, we put in lots of work. The students put in lots of work. Uh, and the day came, and we're all really nervous. I had no idea how my students were going to present, if they were going to pass out, or if they were like what they were going to say and prepare. Um, and I just sat back and I was blown away. I was blown away by my students. They were amazing. They were quoting these Supreme Court cases and talking and giving quotes from George Washington and talking about um, freedom of speech in China. And I was just like, whoa, this is amazing. My students actually listened to something that I said and they were able to answer all of the questions the judges asked them. And I was just like, this is the reason why I'm a teacher. My students are amazing. I had this one student who was dead set on his way and it was the longest way possible to do multiplication and to carry and all of that and I and he would just no I, I, I don't I don't want to do it that way I don't want to do it that way and I'm like try to explain it your life is going to be easier later down the road if we learn this way and so we just had so it was kind of a give and a take which it usually is I was like okay how about I'll, you do one problem your way and then one problem my way 
and then one problem your way, and then one problem my way. And eventually, he just had this, like, the, the aha moment, you know, where it's like, oh, I get it, you know. Uh, the teachers, you right. Um, and so he had the aha moment and was like, oh, you're right, this is easier. And he finished the whole worksheet in, like, five minutes. And it usually took him, like, the whole class period to do two and so, so it was just one of those moments where it was just like, not only can I adapt how I teach to meet you in the middle and we can work together, but oh, I taught math. <laughs> one of the most essential parts of the GTEP program for me was classroom management, which was a course taught by Ken Peterson, who just retired. He has us learn a routine with students called appreciations and concerns. And we did this several times in our own classroom with him where you go around the class and students are allowed to voice appreciations or concerns. And uh, although it sounds silly, uh, one of my students this year, we were going through appreciations and concerns in the school and they just appreciated me. And it's, it's, uh, it's almost silly that I would get that much pleasure out of it, but it, it was a student who, you know, perhaps not the highest skilled student and I don't know exactly how much I was able to impact his educational experience, but the fact that he would volunteer that and just say that he appreciated that I came to the school and, and started working with them just made me feel like a million bucks. I, I, I think the whole way home that day I was, I was grinning un, uncontrollably. So one of the biggest things that has occurred in the program that's going to have the longest impact in me long term as a leader is all of the study and work that we've done with um, equitable leadership. And it just seems to be a theme that's coming up over and over and over. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm better equipped to be um, in that position to make sure that all of our students are getting what they need. And um, I think before coming into the program, I felt a smaller sense of that, but I definitely have grown the most in this area over the year. I think this overall experience has been life-changing, and that sounds quite dramatic, but it's the truth. I remember coming in and people telling me that it was going to be life-changing, and it definitely was. There's a, a self-awareness piece that I, I got that I, I didn't realize I was going to get, but I feel um, much wiser and more humble from this program. For fellow graduates, I would say um, this is always a lifelong process and for those who are master's students to really think about taking it to the next level and getting a doctoral degree and um, for those of us who are graduating with doctoral degrees, it's up to us from now on to, to continue lifelong learning and, and do it in our own way.